It's Saturday morning, June the 12th, 2021. It's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And we're going to read another verse from Proverbs chapter 11 this morning. If you have your Bible on hand, turn there with me to Proverbs chapter 11. We're going to read verse 2. We started verse 1 yesterday morning and it spoke of a just balance or a false balance and how important it is to God for people to be honest. But then the verse 2 this morning goes a little deeper than that talk, and talks about pride and what an affront to God's character and holiness that is. Proverbs 11, 2 says, When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the holy is wisdom. And pride, I've often said over the years, is always a lie. Whenever we are lifted up in pride, it's because we're imagining that we're the cause of our elevation, our promotion, or something good that has been accomplished or has happened to us, when in reality, we should be thanking and praising the Lord because he's the giver of all good gifts. And we are stealing God's glory when we are lifted up in pride. And the Bible says that it precedes destruction. Listen to some other statements in the word of God about pride. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18, for example, says, Pride goeth before destruction, and the haughty spirit before a fall. Verse 19 says, Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. A little earlier in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34 and 35, we read, Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. And it's a foolish thing for us to imagine that we are the source of the blessings and the accomplishments that we are able to attain unto. We should instead thank the Lord and give God the glory. Every good gift, every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, the Bible says, in whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. He's a good, kind, and gracious God, and he deserves the credit for what he accomplishes and the good that he gives. We don't. We're not the source of any of that. And so avoid pride, and whenever you see it or, or sense it creeping into your spirit or into your attitude, confess it immediately as sin and say, Lord, help me to be humble and give you the glory for what things you are able to accomplish through me because I want you to be glorified. God is the one who's worthy of all glory. And when pride cometh, then comes shame. And so we want to be able to honor God instead of be destroyed or be ashamed of ourselves because we were lifted up in pride and took glory that belonged rightfully to him. God bless you today.